Have you guys seen the newest AI video tool from Meta? This thing's really cool because it lets you take your piece of video and use AI to transform it. For example, I can turn myself into a video game character like this. Or how about changing the location? Aloha, look at me, I'm on vacation in Hawaii. Here's a cool one, turning yourself into kind of a retro 80s cartoon style. It's really cool, it's totally free, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to use it. Check it before you wreck it. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and we know that Meta is making a hard, hard push into AI, artificial intelligence. They've got their Meta Llama artificial intelligence tool, and this is all part of their AI suite. And there really aren't a lot of mainstream tools that let you input a piece of video and then output something totally different. Now, you can't use prompts with this, that's the key. They do say prompts are eventually coming, but right now you can pick from some pre-selected AI filters, if you will, but instead of being a filter, this uses AI to transform your video into something totally different. Now, there are three ways you can use this new AI tool that they call Meta Restyle because it restyles your video. You can use it on the web at meta.ai. It works, I wouldn't recommend that. That's probably not the easiest way to do it, and I don't think that's probably the way they would want you to do it. Uh, Edits, which is their editing app. Again, it's okay. Not a lot of people are using this right now. I think, you know, TikTok has the mainstream editor with their editing software. So, you know, if you have edits, look for it in there. It is pretty easy to use in there. But I'm going to use the Meta AI app. This is inside your app store. Just search for Meta AI. And I do think this is probably the easiest way to use this new Meta Restyle tool. So install the app and then open the app up and you'll be brought right to the main screen here. It's super easy to do. All you do is hit the plus button in the bottom left hand corner, then select gallery to look for a video that you've already shot. For example, in this case, I've got my first video here. It's a little three second clip. I'm gonna keep it nice and short for the sake of demo. There's me waving to the camera outside. If you just wanna see the demo, you can skip this next section with the chapters because I'm gonna go through every single AI prompt available and show you what they look like. So we'll start here with fashion. You've got tuxedo which uh, transforms you into wearing a tuxedo. You've got ballet, which transforms you into, I suppose, a ballet dancer. You've got Western, going country Western, kind of cool there. You've got space cadet, which makes you look like you're in outer space. We've got robot, turns you into kind of a cyborg robot looking thing. Puffy, this is kind of cool, turns you into somebody wearing like this clear puffy coat. Uh, Merry time, which I suppose is more of like a nautical look, maybe uh, like a, polo ralph lauren type of look i suppose i don't know uh this is floral suit again these are kind of changing your fashion but it's using ai so it's not just a filter it's actually kind of taking cues from the scene around you and changing things you've got cottage here more of like a cottagey look man there's a lot we've got cheetah print which is kind of cool that uh, changes it to a cheetah print outfit we've got academia Makes you look smart. Kind of looks like Harry Potter, doesn't it? Like you're at the Harry Potter School of Wizardry. Uh, superhero gives you a little uh, superhero outfit there. 90s hip hop. Oh, look at the gold chains. That's uh, <laughs> that's impressive. Y2K takes you back to uh, 2000, I suppose. Uh, streetwear, which gives you just sort of like an urban streetwear look. Black silk. What is that? Black silk clothing, black overcoat. It kind of gives you the prompt too. If you look here, see this is Dark Angel and it says black clothing, tunic, wings, soaring marble archways. I wonder if that is actually the actual prompt that they're using for this. Dark fantasy, oh that's kind of cool, like a goth look. Evil witch, gives it the uh, witch's cape there. We've got gothic, uh, that's kind of cool. Man, that's super goth. And let's see, jacket. Uh, I suppose it puts a jacket on you. <laughs> Baggy leather jacket and white tee. Okay. Uh, we've got punk. Gives you a punk look. And finally, fur coat. Gives you a fur coat look. All right. So the next category is locations. And I showed you the Hawaii version of this off the top. We've got a newsroom, like a news studio there. We've got field, which looks like sort of like Australian outback maybe. Uh, desert rave. I've never heard of a rave in the desert, but I'm sure it happens. Mirrors, that's kind of futuristic looking, although a little weird. Celestial, so you've got like this like gown on, you've got the sky in the background, that's cool. Dystopian, 
That's freaky. Uh, private jet. Here we go. We're jet setting, baby. Didn't really change the look of the, the person in this all that much, but it did change the background. Medieval. Gives you some different clothing and a medieval background. We've got jungle. That's kind of cool. A jungle look. We've got swamp. There's a... I don't know what you would use that for. Uh, snow. <laughs> this one puts you in like a, a lodge maybe in uh, Utah or Colorado, something like that. Grecian. This turns you into somebody, uh, maybe a Greek goddess. Cherry blossoms. There you go. Like uh, the cherry blossoms out there in Washington, D.C. We've got classical. Oh, that's kind of cool. Very uh, old school, classical there. Uh, clouds. This just kind of takes you into the clouds, I suppose. It did lighten her hair, it lighten her skin. You can see that. This is that Hawaii filter I showed you in the beginning. What else do we got here? We've got Starship. This is like a Star Trek background. Ooh, that's cool. The whole uniform they got going on there. And finally, Crystals. This takes you into a crystal cavern, I suppose. The next uh, option we have is Weird. And I think all of these fit that category from looking at them earlier. We've got Alpha Wolf. Yep, that's weird. <laughs> Blobby. Oh my gosh, look at that. We've got Bubbles. It's kind of cool. We've got Chicken, which turns you into a literal chicken. I'm going to try that in a second here. We've got Clay. There you go. We've got Clown. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. I got to kept some of her hair, but then put the clown hair on the top. That is freaky. We've got Diamond, which didn't really change her. Put some diamond on her shirt, but mostly the background there. We've got Dollhouse. Oh, that's cool. Turned you into a doll, like a Barbie doll or something. Donuts. What the heck is Donuts? Donuts spinning. Donut Frosted Candy Land. I don't even see the donuts, but that's interesting. Frog. Oh, that's freaky. Four eyes, holy cow. All right, fruit. Oh, fruit on her head. We've got googly eyes. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you need AI for that. That's more of like a TikTok filter or something, isn't it? Harlequin. Yeah, there you go. You got uh, jelly. Oh, that's interesting. Almost makes her look like a little kid. We've got kitty here, which turns you into a cat. Certainly is weird. Uh, laser eyes. Okay, creepy. I feel like these are all the ones that didn't fit into other categories, but they wanted to include them anyways. You've got Llama, which is fitting, considering the fact that their AI engine is called Llama. You've got Octopus. There you go. Uh, you've got Skeleton. That's kind of cool. I wonder how well that actually works. You've got Snake. Puts a snake on her head. Almost looks real. You've got Spaghetti. Turns her hair into spaghetti. Very cool. This is weird. Uh, you've got Teddy. Turns you into Teddy Bear. Uh, underwater and oh that's kind of cool see the hair is like floating that's actually pretty impressive and then Bigfoot there you go full-on Sasquatch although that doesn't looks like a I mean I guess I don't know what a Sasquatch looks like never seen one but I feel like that doesn't look like a Sasquatch that looks like a bear werewolf thing combo okay lighting what, what do we got here we've got sunset so that changes the lighting to a, like more of a sunset deal you've got pink lighting you've got orange blue lighting uh, you've got neon lighting it's kind of cool. Again, these feel more like filters. I know it's probably using AI, moody lighting. It's kind of cool. It's probably using AI because it is changing more than just the color, but it feels like a, like a TikTok or a Snapchat filter. That was dreamy. Finally, we've got blue. Oh, there is one more here, luminescent. Oh, that's kind of cool. See, now that feels like more than a filter to me because uh, it is changing kind of the reflection of the clothing and stuff. And finally, in styles, I like some of these a lot, actually. We've got 3D, which changes you to almost like a um, almost like a Pixar cartoon character. You've got cyberpunk. That's cool. You've got graphic novel. I showed you guys this one at the beginning. That's really cool, like that retro cartoon look. You've got painting, turns you into like a painting. That's impressive. Video game, I showed you this one earlier as well. Turns you into a, a video game character. Porcelain, which looks like a porcelain doll. You've got 8-bit, which I do like 8-bit. Again, kind of that retro cartoony look. We've got pastel anime which looks like an anime character in pastel colors. 1800s, like Mona Lisa style. That's pretty cool. Uh, illustration, which also has that kind of 80s throwback cartoon look. We've got straight up anime here, which looks a lot like the one I showed you before, but just anime. We've got tin type, which is cool. That's retro, like old Western photos or something like that. Pencil, this reminds me of that aha video take on me. I think that's cool. Again, is that a filter? Is that AI? I mean, I know it's AI, I get it, but it looks like a filter to me because uh, it's not really changing much. Pulp, kind of like a uh, Pulp Fiction, I suppose, kind of look. We got paper, 
See, that's AI, right? Because that's actually changing the way things look. Finally, we've got watercolor, and that's cool because it does change it into kind of a watercolor look. So those are all the different options you have. I know that took a bit, but I wanted to show you all the different options that you have inside the app there. And now I wanna show you exactly how it works. So let's go back into the app. Again, you hit that plus button, hit gallery, choose the video you wanna transform. I'm gonna choose this one, for example. And now I'm gonna go in and pick one of these options down here. So let's go into weird, because I think these really transform things a lot. And let's try one of these. I'm gonna go with llama. Let's see what that looks like. I'll select it and then I'll hit generate and it's gonna take a bit. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes to actually transform this video. You can see it is moving quite fast in this case. But again, this is a very short, I think about three second clip. So it should generate pretty fast. My guess is it's uploading it to the cloud and then likely bringing that video back down when it's finished. Oh my gosh, take a look at this guys. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll notice it kept my hand. I still have my watch on. The background is the same, but then it's using my movements to generate this character. And look at the lighting on the tuxedo. It matches the lighting of the environment of the original video. And that is why AI is different than a normal filter. That is super impressive. I got to save this. And now I want to jump back and let me try a different one, guys. I want to go back to the beginning and re-add that same video. And now I want to try, I saw one that I liked in here under styles, I believe. Yeah, let's do this one. This is called paper. And this one I think is interesting because it's not just a filter, but it transforms the surfaces and the textures in here. So I want to see what this going to look like when I generate it on that video that I just recorded and uploaded. So let's see what it looks like. Now it's generating. We're going to wait for that and check it out. All right, guys, here it is. What do you think? So this is called paper. And what's interesting is what it did with the background. I mean, it certainly took my facial features and created kind of a paper character out of it, but it totally changed the background. The movements are the same. Kind of the 3D space is the same. Does this come off as a filter or do you think this comes off as actual AI. I'm going to put these videos side by side so you can see what they look like side by side as well. But I thought that was kind of interesting. And now it's your turn. Jump into the Meta AI app. Let me know what you create. And if there's other tools that you're using to transform video, maybe stuff that's not quite so mainstream, throw that in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. I'd love to see more tools that I can play around with here on the channel. And do me a huge favor. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got a lot more cool tech videos, AI demos, reviews, all kinds of cool stuff coming your way here on Tech It Before You Wreck It. I'm Kirk.